Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your October 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look at the person that you're separated from. We're going to see if this person is going to come back towards you, okay? And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on what will happen if you guys did get back together apply this to your own unique situations switch the roles if you want uh, like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok instagram my other youtube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels the links for those are in the description box below anyone interested uh, in um also booking a personal reading with me the link for that is also in the description box below so libra what messages do we have for, for libra regarding the person that they are separated from will this person come back towards libra will this person come back towards libra oh yeah. this person's in deep regret here you know this person's so sorry for what they did not really quite sure what this person did. Seems like this person let you down. You know, I almost feel like this person gave up on you here too, or gave up on the connection or the relationship here. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Knight of Wands here, Aries, Seal, Sagittarius, Energy. And yeah, this person does want to come back towards you here. This person finds you very attractive. This person likes that you are very caring, very nurturing, very artistic here. You know, someone that feels like, you know, they feel like they're, you know, they feel like they're just really safe around you here. You know, they see growth and expansion here with you. So, you know, I do feel like this person does want to come back around. I also feel like this person's a very sex positive individual here. So I feel, I feel like this person would not, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this person try to get you into bed, try to make everything better by having some sexy time here, okay? I do feel like this person can bust the moves here too, you know, when it comes to, you know, them, and, you know, being uh, you know, intimate with you. We have the King of uh, Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, and the Ten of Cups. Here is the thing here. This person's not going to give you what you want. Look at this King of Wands, turn away from this Ten of Cups here. You know, you're looking for commitment. You're looking for marriage here, okay? And this person's not really quite ready for that. You know, this person's not really quite ready for that. And I feel like you're you're ready for it. You're ready to invest your time and energy. You've given a lot of time and energy into this person here and into this relationship here. And I feel like this person has not delivered. Let's use a separate deck to clarify. I used to do it early on in my uh, early earlier videos where I used separate decks to clarify. So I'm just going to give that a shot again. I haven't done that in a while. Tell me at the Five of Cups here. We have the Five of Wands here. Wow, there's a lot of conflict between you and your person here. Yeah, there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of arguing. You know, I feel like there was jealousy here too. I feel like this person was like, I feel like this person is jealous of you. They're jealous because I feel like you're on kind of like a higher level than them, you know, in life. And I feel like this person admires that about you, but also jealous of you too, because I feel like this, you have everything, you, you have your life together. And I feel like this person doesn't really quite have that yet. We also have the Five of Cups again. This person's in deep regret here, Libra. Yeah, this person's in deep regret here. Tell me the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Knight of Wands in the Knight of Swords. This is not a very reliable individual here to begin with. When I see a lot of knights, you know, this is an indication that this person is very flighty. This person is very in and out. You know, this is an individual here who's very fickle here. Okay. So, you know, like this person just comes and goes as they please here. This person's definitely dealing with options here too. Here is the thing. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person hasn't really quite come out of the closet yet because I feel like this person's also interested in the same sex here too. So this person does have options here, okay? So let's see, the King of Wands here in the uh, Page of Cups, Canis of Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this person is, is very sexually fluid here, okay? Yeah, this person has a deep, dark secret here, and I feel like that's it. Yeah, I feel like that's it here. So... 
you know, this person will come back with an apology here, okay? But this person has a secret where I feel like this person is definitely hiding their sexuality here, Libra. All right? What else do we have for, for Libra? What will happen if Libra got back together with this individual? What does Libra need to know, look out for, work on? For October 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands here. Ten of Wands, all right. I'm just gonna, I don't know. Ten of Wands. We also have the King of Swords here, all right. Here is the thing with the King of Swords in the reverse here. You know, this person's hiding a secret here. I feel like this is an individual with the King of Swords here. They're never gonna tell you the truth here. Yeah, I, I just feel like this person is really ashamed of who they are. Yeah, this person is really ashamed of who they are. Uh, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles here, you know, I do feel like this person is not really looking for anything serious because everything is kind of up in the air for them here because I feel like this person is not really quite sure about their sexuality here. I do feel like this person is exploring it, okay? But I feel like with the Moon card here, this person is not going to reveal the truth here to you. And then with the King of Swords in the reverse. What else do we have for, for Libra? Oh, we have the double card. This could also be an indication that this person could be committed elsewhere here. Let's say, for example, this is a situation where this person could be committed to, let's let's say it's, it's, it's a man and this person's committed to a woman. But actually this man is really interested in another guy here. You know, so it could be a situation where, you know, this person could be in a heterosexual relationship here, okay? And, you know, this person is interested in guys, or it could be the other way around. You know, this woman is in a heterosexual relationship, but they're interested in women, okay? So we have the devil Capricorn energy and a moon again. Wow. This person's living a double life here. Yeah, this person's living a double life here, okay? So we have the Moon card and the Knight of Wands here. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They will come back around, but like I said, I don't feel like this person's definitely going to divulge, you know, what is going on with them here. They're not going to tell you the full truth here. We have the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? And the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person's not going to spill. Yeah, this person's not going to share what they're hiding here. Perhaps you know it all along that this person was hiding something. The King of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords here. So I feel like this person's definitely kind of like moving this along, trying to pretend like everything is okay. Okay, like nothing's going on, nothing's up here. But you know, I do feel like this person's definitely hiding. Like I said, this person's living a double life with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Two of Swords. You know, I feel like this person's trying everything that they can to kind of hide this so that you don't figure it out or that you will find out here. We have the, uh, um, we have the devil. Why is the devil card here? The devil card here and the ten of swords. Wow, this is going to be a major, this is going to be a double whammy here. Yeah, this is going to be kind of like a double betrayal here. It's kind of like, wow. This person's already like being deceptive. This person's lying. This person's hiding a secret here. And I feel like this person's definitely gonna drop a huge bombshell. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like this person's in another relationship here. You know, this person could be pretending like they're open and gay, you know, but this person has a family. You know, this person's with, you know, uh, uh, you know, with an opposite sex here, you know? So, I, you know, I do feel like whoever this is, yeah, I do feel like this person's definitely living a double life, hiding a secret here from you. And I feel like this person's tr trying to continue to play along, you know, go along with it. Or they're, they're trying to get you to get along with it or go along with it. So uh, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.